Welcome to the channel. It's Jack, the muscle and mobility maker with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I'm gonna to be taking you through one of my favorite hip mobility routines that you can do if you're an athlete or you're just looking to improve any of that range of motion. If you have pain around the hips, the lower back, the knees, this is for you. But before we get into it, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. And it doesn't get better than that. So take advantage of it. Ready? Let's go ahead and get into this one. All right, like I said, today we're gonna be doing a hip mobility routine and again, this is for basically anyone who wants to improve their hip function overall. And the benefits of hip function are gonna be resolving aches and pains at the lower back, the knees, the hip itself, the foot and ankle. We're improving function of the whole system of the leg by improving the function of the powerhouse of the leg where we generate torque, which is a big part of the stability of our leg overall and it feeds up into our core directly. So if our hip function is off, it's not just bleeding into our legs, it's also affecting what's happening at our core overall and that's very important to understand. So this will be beneficial if you're an athlete or if you're dealing with aches or pains, either end of that spectrum, you're going to benefit from having high hip function. And again, this is one of my favorite things to do on a weekly basis, at least one time, to ensure that my hips are staying at their full functional ability. We're gonna be using a pull-up band today, and what we'll need is a good strong anchor point. So I'm gonna be using my post back here. You can use a squat rack, you can use a heavy coffee table, uh, you know, a railing. As long as you have some floor space to lay down, you're gonna be good with that band and that floor space. And we're gonna take you through positions to help restore as much range of motion to your hip as possible. You can also do these without, but they're gonna be more beneficial with the band itself. So why do we use the band? When we use a pull-up band like this, we're addressing something called the joint mechanics. So we're looking at the actual ability of the joint to articulate and its position in the ball and socket, specifically to our hip here. So we're really helping that joint articulate better, creating more space for it to work, and helping restore the position of that joint so that it is working in the most efficient and effective position that it can be in. So that is how we're using the band and that is why you would want to use a band versus just doing them without, although you can still do these moves and positions without the band, they just won't have the same effect. So grab your pull-up band, find your space to work, and let's go ahead and get into this one. All right, begin with your band anchored low on the post. You're gonna place your knee through the band from the bottom up so that you can anchor the band at the hip crease itself. With the free leg, you wanna push off of the post, extending that leg fully as much as possible. First, we're gonna start by hugging the knee to the chest nice and deep, and then we're gonna add some internal rotation at the hip. So you're gonna hold the ankle and you're gonna rotate that foot all the way to the floor until you can push into the ground a little bit. So each of these things we're gonna do is gonna have a little bit of movement or muscle contraction involved to help make the movement or the position more effective, restoring that range of motion. Each one will do about six reps to 15 reps, depending on the move, and we'll be going from there. So here we're working that internal rotation coming from knee hug, all the way to the foot to the floor, internally rotated at the hip. All right, next, interlace the fingers behind the knee, hugging it to the ribs as close as possible, keeping those shoulders down and back. I want you to go six reps with the toes pointing away, and then you're gonna do six reps with the ankle dorsiflexed back toward you. Now focus on the flex of the quadriceps, extending the leg and straightening it as much as possible in both ankle positions here. All right, now we're gonna turn over to the side, pushing off the post still here. What I wanna do is hold that knee to the floor as close as possible with the close side arm there. 
and I'm gonna rotate and reach the other arm overhead into an open book position, trying to get my shoulder blades as close to the floor as possible as I hold that knee down as close to the floor as possible. So we're working on some rotation through the spinal column here as we keep that hip locked into a good point. This is where it can help our low back quite a bit to do movements like this while the hip is held in a good position. Next, still rotated, keeping that back shoulder down to the floor, straighten out the leg, holding the foot if you're able to reach it. If not, use a towel or another band to help that. And then you're gonna flex and release the quadriceps here. So we're going quick reps here, quick flex, quick release. This is helping to open up that rotation as well as those hamstrings in this position. Now bend that knee so that you plant the foot, still holding the ankle, and you're also gonna bend the bottom leg so that it supports the outside of that ankle. From here, we're gonna open up the hip into external rotation, allowing that knee to go toward the band as much as possible, and then giving a little bit of a pull back toward yourself. So it's a small range of motion. It might be pretty touchy in this area if you haven't done this before. So take your time, move slowly, and just breathe through your nose diaphragmatically to really relax and calm yourself in this movement. Now we're gonna turn over, keeping that leg planted. So we're just coming out from underneath it, making sure that we have a deep lunge position here. What I want you to do is actively help your knee by externally rotating the hip and internally rotating the hip from this lunge position. So you can see my hand pushing into internal rotation and out to external rotation. Key with this is that I keep my foot planted as much as possible. So I want three points of contact. The first metatarsal behind my big toe, the fifth metatarsal behind my small toe, and my heel. It was hard getting that one out, but we got it. So that makes an active foot overall, and that's the base I want. I never want to be rolling off to the edges of the foot. From here, go ahead and take the leg out front so we're actively placing the band pulling us backwards. We're still in that deep lunge position. We're gonna push the floor away from the leg, trying to straighten it out as much as possible. You can see my hands in line with my foot and I'm straightening, again, focusing on flexing the quadriceps. This is gonna give you a big stretch through that posterior chain. Don't worry if you can't fully straighten the leg, just take it where you can with that quadricep flex. You might feel some resistance at the top of the ankle as well, being able to keep that foot close to the floor. Do the best you can. Next, we're gonna go into a pigeon position. So we wanna drop the outside of that leg to the floor. And from there, I'm going to actually rise up into a shin box and then lower back, reaching my back leg a little bit further each time. So raise up on that leg, activating my glutes to raise the hips there, and then extending deeper into that pigeon each time.
All right, now we're gonna actually adjust our band. So we're gonna come out of the band here for a second and move it up to about hip height on our anchor. It's okay if you can't get to full hip height, but it will help in keeping the band in place if it is at hip height or slightly above. So if you can do that, that will be helpful. Step that leg back in the band. You're gonna extend back into a big split stance here as far as you can take those legs. Now the first thing I wanna do is focus on keeping both legs straight. And then from there, I'm going to do some anterior and posterior pelvic tilt. So your glutes will really engage on that band. It should feel like it's the world's greatest wedgie for you right now. From there, we're gonna also add a lunge. So I wanna lower straight down, not allowing that band to pull me forward. And I should feel a big stretch at my hip flexors as that band is pulling me as I keep my glutes engaged. And we do want the glutes engaged through that full range of motion. All right, and there you have it. One of my personal favorites to do on a weekly basis to help keep my hips functioning at their highest. Whether you're an athlete or you're somebody who's trying to resolve an ache or pain, whether that be low back, knee, foot and ankle, whatever the case, the hip itself, this can be one of the most beneficial things that you could do in a regular routine basis to help you maximize function of your hip, restore pain, or restore your body from pain, and overall improve your performance as an athlete and a human being in general. So if you like this video, make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below. Take a moment to share this one with a friend, whether again, they're an athlete or they're dealing with pain, pass it their way. This is beneficial stuff right here. I can't stress that enough, so share the love with them. If you're somebody who's dealing with a current ache or pain and you haven't been able to quite figure it out, whether it's specifically at the hip, your lower back, your knees, foot and ankle range, or even up above in the shoulders and spinal column, what you can do right now is drop down below in the description here and fill out a coaching application to schedule your Mobility Blueprint call. The Mobility Blueprint call is our opportunity to get on a Zoom call together so that I can visually assess your current movement and mobility limitations and gather all the information I would need to tailor a program specifically to your needs and to your goals so that we can have you moving in the right direction and resolving your aches and pains in a 12 week period or less. And if that sounds good to you, drop down in the description right now, go ahead and get on that call so that we can also answer any questions that you have in full clarity and detail and depth about the programming itself, coaching itself and how that works so that we can, again, help you resolve that pain in 12 weeks or less. Drop down there, fill that out, get your call scheduled and let's start moving in that direction. Last but not least, if you have not already, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine, and it does not get better than that. So, take advantage of it. Welcome to the Stronghold Army. See you guys next week.